Hello once again. Hello once again, guys. Sorry, I just stopped there. Um, in the last tutorial, we made our new mob, but I'm moving on from mobs now, and today we're going to create a new GUI. So, over in our modern school YouTube file, we are going to create a protected Minecraft variable, a public static world variable, and a public static int display. And set that equal to zero. Now we all now all we have to do is import Minecraft. So down here in our public void load, um, let's set MC is equal to mod loader dot get Minecraft instance and Um, should be around here somewhere. I think we have to set the in game hook and the in GUI, in GUI hook, so set in game hook this true false and mod lula dot mod lula dot set in GUI hook this true false now that should all be set up so now we have to go into base mod and we need to copy a method public boolean on ticking game bring that over here place it down at the bottom and have it return true Boolean on ticking game. So set for world equal to mine craft dot mm, MC dot the world. Then if the if the world is not equal to null and the world is a new world and um, display is equal to a hundred and and the player is playing in survival
is play dot is in this is right oh sorry dot play controller dot is in creative mode then we want to display whatever is in here and then we want to increment this by one sorry Dis display if I can spell it right and then system dot out dot print line display and then up in here we're going to port system dot out dot print line and then we are going to print out we can display our GUI so when we run this and create a new world Just keep concentrating down there. As you can see, each time the game ticks, it increments our display variable by one. And once the display variable hits 100, it's going to print out a line in the console and display our GUI when we can make it. And you can see it right there. We can display our GUI. So now we're going to want to create a new class called GUI display no GUI YouTube and we are going to open up a file I've already done right there and we need to create a new class that extends the GUI screen and create our constructor pass in world world one V 
mod underscore you tube and Minecraft. Then import Minecraft. Then you'll see here we set Minecraft equal to mine, MC equal to Minecraft, and the world equal to the world one. So we'll see it's equal to Minecraft, and world is equal to world one. But we are getting an error. The world equal to world one. MC equals Minecraft world equals world one. I'll be right back, guys. So I'm back, guys. I found out what the problem was. We had to create two new variables private world and name it world and a private minecraft and name it mc okay so down here in this class um, we have a method public void in it gui and a, another method protected void action performed now i'm going to copy both of these and just place on here then we also need the draw screen method and the little bit underneath it So now if page is equal to zero, we just have to create this variable public static int page set it equal to zero. Then we are going to draw draw And we are going to draw a string on the screen saying hello YouTube and the method draw center string takes um, about four or five parameters it needs to take the font renderer class to render the font it needs to take the string you want to render it needs to take what its position so in this, in this case in the middle of the screen on the width so in the middle of the screen so say if this was our minecraft window we would have this window this is for width this is the height so it's going to draw the um, string in the middle of the screen but it's going to draw it 
100 pixels upwards so it's going to be about here hope you understand now I believe all we have to do is call this in our modern score file new GUI U tube ok now when we start up minecraft and create a new world it's going to wait until the tick minecraft's tick system reaches 100 well it's going to wait until our variable hits 100 I'll unpause the video when my world is generated ok now it's about to generate it's just saving the chunks now it's open let's just turn this back to its normal size so we can see the game ticking as you can see it's printing out our variable and when it reaches 100 it is going to draw the default background and our string at the top of the screen where we designated it so I hope you've liked this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I think I might go over blocks, GUIs on blocks, or maybe buttons, adding pages to this. <laughs> Pardon me. Maybe I'll add an item where when you right click on it, it displays a GUI. So I could take a book, right click with it, and it would open up a story. So I hope you've liked this tutorial. I'll see you next time. We should be doing buttons, pages, or items, GUIs. See you later.